American Fiction from Cord Jefferson. It's a dramedy about an author who becomes renowned for writing a book filled with racial stereotypes. Quick disclaimer, I normally try not to read up on a movie before making my review, just because I don't wanna make content that isn't 100% my own thoughts. But for this one, I didn't want to miss the mark on the important sentiment behind Cord Jefferson's work. So after seeing it, I did read up on his intentions behind the film so that I could avoid mischaracterizing it in any way in my breakdown of its deeper meaning. But anyway, in this movie, we follow Monk, played by Jeffrey Wright. He is a novelist who's struggling to get his next book published because the publishers only seem to be interested in buying books from African-American authors when their writing is just filled with tons of racial stereotypes. So Monk tries to stick it to these publishers by writing what he considers to be an over-the-top black book filled with cliches. But he unironically writes a book that the people actually wanted, making this new secret pseudonym that he's created the next best-selling author. So there's obviously a lot of racial commentary in this movie, but it primarily focuses on Monk's relationship with a tone-deaf industry. We see the bulk of Monk's struggles coming from well-meaning allies that are just totally oblivious in creating horribly uncomfortable situations for him. This movie digs into how obsessing over another person's identity, even with the best intentions at heart, can actually contribute to an entirely different form of oppression, in how constantly addressing someone by their ethnicity could potentially be exotifying them, deeming them as irregular rather than being inclusive. It also digs into the overuse of certain tropes in African-American stories. There's a wonderful scene where this is debated between Monk and the author Sintara Gold, played by Issa Rae. Cord Jefferson described this exchange as one where neither is meant to be right or wrong, and that he's not actually sure who he agrees with more. It just explores the complexity of the topic rather than trying to pick a winner, which I thought was a really good approach. So Jeffrey Wright, he is an incredibly talented actor and was just perfect for this role. He plays the dramatic and serious sides of the character very well and did a fantastic job playing a guy who's just poorly emulating someone filled with such on-the-nose racial stereotypes. This is what made the movie a laugh-out-loud comedy. There is a lot of really good, tasteful humor in various corners of the story, but the moments where he's attempting to shroud himself in these racial stereotypes were just absolutely priceless. This persona that he adopts actually doesn't show up in the movie that often, though. The bulk of the story surprisingly revolves around his family struggles and not his career. We see his family experience an abrupt loss in addition to increasing health complications, putting Monk and his brother Cliff Cliff, played by Sterling K. Brown, through some very difficult changes. Cliff was great. He's not in the movie a whole lot, but he easily stole all of the scenes that he was in. He gives us a lot of laughs while still giving us good reasons to take him seriously. So in the trailer, this movie seems like it's going to play out more like a hard comedy because of how punchy the dialogue is and how career focused it seems. But this movie has a lot of heart. The complexity within the family and Monk's new relationship saved this movie from potentially being too silly. Because if the tone deaf humor had taken up as much space in the movie as it did in the trailer, then it probably would have gotten old and left us wondering where the heart is. This is a great debut for Core Jefferson's filmmaking career, the dialogue was just really well written, and there were a lot of great decisions made in directing. There are some good visual metaphors that reiterate the movie's core themes without explicitly stating them. So this movie does feel like it has a little bit of Don't Look Up syndrome, where in marketing it seemed like it was going to be a lot more like a comedy, but it actually took itself a lot more seriously than I was expecting. Not that it's a bad thing though. Again, I'm glad that they didn't oversaturate the film with Monk playing into the stereotypes. That said, because of how far up Part, the hardest hitting funny scenes were, I do feel like there could have been some really hard hitting emotional scenes to contrast them for much of the second act. Also, Monk is often treated like a curmudgeon, but he generally seems well contained through the BS that he deals with, with the exception of a couple instances. I do just think that they could have depicted him as angrier. So Cord Jefferson has stated that this is a mildly satirical film, but with a real message, of course. It's meant to give viewers the opportunity to laugh at themselves a little bit and not necessarily scold them or tell them how things should be. That becomes obvious with how the movie ends. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it ends in a way that clearly avoids trying to shove a message down your throat while still reiterating the movie's message in a very humorous way. Overall, this movie was highly intelligent, thought-provoking, sincere, and occasionally side-splitting. It's a really good watch, and it will certainly be remembered as one of Jeffrey Wright's most iconic movies. So who is this movie for? I would love to say pretty much anyone in the mood for a good drama with some elements of satire. But regarding who it's not for, you decide. Thank you for watching this review. If it brought you any value at all, please consider giving it a like. It really does help the channel grow. I'll see you later this week with my review of Society of the Snow.